dudes and dudettes, how are you guys? This is Chazzy and welcome back to What's the Damage. Two in a row, baby, because I got a lot of stuff to complain about today and I'm still doing the hashtag no uh, shave insert month here. I don't know if it's October or November, but whatever month this is, I'm not shaving, you know, all throughout the entire month, you know, I'm gonna really let my beard grow out, eh? Actually, no, I think I'll probably shave it completely after I finish recording the videos. But anyway, so today I'm going to be talking about ice hockey, but something specific within it, you know, because I'm starting to become a really big fan of this sport. Now I've been playing NHL here on this channel. In case you guys missed it, I'm going to leave a link to the playlist up here, you know. Should be quite a few uh, number of uh, gameplays in at this point, and I don't know exactly when this is coming out, but I'm sure I've gotten a lot of gameplays done already, and I've been watching it, you know, uh, off outside of YouTube, and I try to catch a few games, binge watching a bunch of videos on, on channels about it, you know, so I'm starting to become a really big fan of the sport, you know, and uh, the thing is that ice hockey, Hockey is a pretty rough sport, you know, because there is a lot of fighting, no physical, actual fist fighting inside of the sport itself, you know, and it might surprise you guys to know that it is not only normal, you know, in ice hockey, but it's also permitted, you know, it's sort of even encouraged, you know, there are, there are players on, on a certain teams called goons you know and they are the ones who are in charge of instigating the fights between them and other players you know usually it's just to cause mayhem or to protect their star players you know they will engage in brawls you know so and uh the the more uh the, the longer and uh, more traditional and more rough a rivalry is the the worse the fights you know so there are a lot of brawls that break out in actual rivalries you know in derbies so it's really freaking crazy and uh in some of the gameplays that i did for any of nhl 21 there are teams that traditionally face a lot of brawls you know and because I don't have a lot of information about it, I'm gonna read directly from the source here you know talking about fighting and the violence in the sport itself you know so basically um, uh, 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 fighting in hockey is governed by a specific system of rules within the sport you know and it's it, there they are completely unwritten but the players and the coaches and the officials follow them you know and it's referred to as the code you know by the media and like even though officials tolerate fighting during some games there are still a series of penalties that players can face if they engage in fights you know and it's really freaking crazy and it's more common in the NHL the North American League you know but also uh, minor professional leagues in America you know and they don't always eject players for fighting sometimes it is permitted and tolerated like I said you know but there are a few things that you shouldn't do you know a few things within the sport that if you commit during a fight then you will be uh you will be penalized you know and now here's the thing uh blah, blah, blah. so so physical play within the sport which consists of allow techniques such as checking and also checking is when you try to take the puck from another player where you body check him you know or, or do a toe check where you take the puck away from him a body check is when you body slam a player you know sometimes uh, against the wall or they they fall into the ice no that can be permitted but there are prohibited techniques such as elbowing and high sticking which is when you take the hockey stick in a and like a you know hit the guy in the face with it and cross checking which i believe is uh Cross checking is when you, uh, like, I think you 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 use your hockey stick to to put to uh, knock their hockey stick out of their hands. This is cross checking, you know, so this is not allowed. So and now uh, there are there is a lot of criticism uh, uh, towards fighting within the sport itself, but a lot of fans actually uh, this is actually I'm not making this up. It's actually written here, you know. Uh, a lot of fans come to the games to see fights because apparently, according to them, you know, it helps deter other types of rough play, allows teams to protect their star players, like I said, and creates a sense of solidarity among teammates you know but honestly it really doesn't make a lot of sense you know because sometimes the, the players get really really rough they even knock each other out you know or they get seriously freaking hurt you know ice hockey is a sport where there can be a lot of bloodshed you know because i'm really scared of playing ice hockey because i'm afraid of like falling on the ice and maybe getting cut with the ice skates you know or something but it is really really it's tough guys it's a very tough sport when the brawls break out Look now, and here comes Kane. And Kane's going to go right after. Oh! oh He's out. Cook is out. He, that was a right cross that crossed him up. And you don't like it. Now, violence has been a part of ice hockey since the early 1900s, you know, the early days of the actual sport itself. And as a matter of fact, in 1904 alone, four players were killed during brawls on the ice. You know, it's really crazy how one little fight in a game can turn it, can uh, result in death, you know. I can't even imagine how hard those players fought because then again, back in the day, there were no helmets, you know, there was, there was a lot of less protection, so maybe it was easy for them to get hurt more, you know. But the thing is that fighting within any sport to me is not tolerable, you know, unless the sport in 
involves fighting, if it's a combat related sport like UFC, you know, boxing, then that's okay, MMA. But if it's outside of a sport that does not involve combat at all, to me, it's just really unacceptable, you know, soccer, basketball, American football, even though that does get pretty rough as well. But like actually brawling on the ice is really dangerous, man, you know, and players like Wayne Gretzky, who I did talk about in this video here before, he, he was one of the players that actually spoke out against it, you know, he was really against fighting and I actually agree with him, you know. I always side with the players who, who are against fighting because it kind of takes away from the essence of sport, you know. I can understand that. I'm not like, I'm starting to get into hockey now. I'm not really a, a crazy fanatic, you know, like, like other people. So, I don't know, maybe seeing a fight break out between two players in the opposing teams and your, t in, uh, your team, uh, the player on your team winning might be a little euphoric, but it's kind of dumb, isn't it? Because you're there to see a game of ice hockey. You're not there to see UFC, you know? So, but then again, I, 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 I've never been to a hockey game, you know, maybe in the heat of the moment, if you're, if it, the game is really intense, you know, and there's a lot of crazy action, I don't know, maybe a small little fight might kind of mitigate it or something, I don't know. But then again, if the other player or one of your own player dies, I mean, that's kind of gonna be awkward, right? I mean, yeah, I should probably word that a little better. Awkward is not the right word to use. It might be, I don't know, guys, okay? I don't know, I've never seen a hockey fight happen, you know, but I do know that they can get pretty rough, and uh, I'm gonna read up a little bit about here uh, for you guys. Uh, modern examples of violence include, include brawls or fan involvement, physical abuse of officials, you know, and also when you deliberately hurt your opponent, you know, so you do something that will intentionally hurt them, you know, and uh, there are violent actions like kicking, you know, and hitting from behind and prohibited stick work, and uh, you can actually be penalized with suspensions or fines outside of the ice you know and uh, fighting is also penalized but it's considered by many hockey enthusiasts you know to be pretty uh, distinct from stick swinging or other violent acts you know the brawls are actually normal and it's weird how some fans regard fighting as like an actual part of the game, you know. They think it's an entrenched and acceptable integral part of the game, you know. And like I said, I'm I'm not really the biggest fan, so that's why I probably wouldn't condone it, you know. But according to what I'm reading here, referees may actually impose penalties for certain, you know, prohibited activities. And uh, off of the ice, the NHL might actually uh, f uh, might uh, they find, suspend, or expel certain players who will go over the top with violence, you know. The criminal justice system has occasionally charged and convicted players as well, you know. It's this really crazy crazy crap and uh now uh uh, I'm gonna just discard this here and just talk about my own personal side of it. I think that it's unacceptable. Like, I do understand where it comes from, you know. Sometimes hockey games get really, really rough, you know, and people, they, they just want to duke it out to maybe, I don't know, maybe after they fight, they might calm down a little bit. We do see fights happening in other sports like soccer or football, you know, if you live in Europe, and it's much less tolerated there, and sometimes like both players are immediately penalized, but sometimes it's just the heat of the moment, you know. Hockey might be the same thing, but the problem is that you're playing a sport that kind of allows and tolerates it so if you want to blow off steam there you can you know you're allowed to fight the guy but I mean I don't know like how you as a player how do you know where the limit like where the line is crossed you know Devil trying to put some pressure and get their four checking in here Martin and Kostopoulos drop the mitts two heavy hitters at center ice and Martin knocks Kostopoulos to the ice and Matt Martin is calling over the training staff yeah, well, good, good for Matt Martin. Now, you know, Tommy Skatopoulos is not in the same class when it comes to fights as uh, Matt Martin, and he's... The early days of ice hockey were unfortunately very marked by the extreme violence, you know. I do believe that like uh, two players were killed over three years, you know, uh, because of brawls and like it was really hard to ban things back in the day because the sport was still in its early days, you know. And also uh, to this day, there has been one player who was uh, the only one so far, the first and only to be banned for life, you know, his name was Billy Koto and he was actually banned for violence in 1927 because he assaulted two different referees apparently because his coach told him to, you know, and that uh, he tackled them. You know, and um, it was it was a game between the Boston Bruins and the, the Ottawa Senators. You know, and uh, he was expelled for life. Uh, the ban was lifted after two and a half years, but he never played in the NHL again. You know, and. Uh, there have been there have been attempts at agreements to try to uh, to kind of do away with the violence in the sport. You know, you know, as recently as 2012, the general governor of uh, Canada he said that violence such as headshots, high sticking, and fighting should not be a part of the sport. You know, but I don't think he actually outright banned it. You know, and. Um, 
Like, I understand that, like, well, the problem with ice hockey is that it's allowed, man. It's permitted to happen, you know? If, they, if like, I do believe that the, the game is modernizing much more and, and violence is starting to become a little bit more rare now. It's, uh, I, I guess the incidents are fewer and far in between, but it still is a thing, you know? Players are still allowed to fight. So, as long as there are, there are very few penalizations, it's still going to keep happening, you know? If the NHL were to completely ban fighting outright with no violence at all or try to treat it as different sports where... If you get into a brawl, you're immediately, you know, uh, suspended or something. Then I do believe the game would become much more dynamic because I am totally against violence in sports, you know. I think it really sucks. It doesn't really make sense for sports to have su such violent demeanors, especially when the fans get involved. Like uh, ice hockey, I can imagine that the fans get pretty riled up, you know. They might try to invade the ice and attack other players while they're on the bench, you know. Or they might even fight amongst themselves, you know. It's crazy. But then again, like fighting between the supporters is different than fighting between the players. You know, one is happening on the ice the other is happening outside of it so it's a little complicated but in my honest opinion man I mean we all need to just get the hell along you're there to play a sport that you love and entertain people you know so I mean I, I sometimes I do uh, I practice violence in NHL you know but it's just a video game I'm there I'm just there to blow off to blow off some steam you know and if you guys saw my playlist of NHL 21 you notice that I do very few body checks you know only occasionally when I just want to mess around but even in the game I want to do a fair play you know thing I just want to relax and play the sport and not get into these crazy violent acts you know so to me violence and regardless of the sport just completely tarnishes you know the uh, the entire thing I'm I'm looking at a few photos here of uh, fights breaking out you know and the refs not even intervening you guys can go look this up later you know and read more about it it's actually a really interesting topic but I just wanted to address it you know I'm starting to watch hockey now you know I'm in the early days maybe I should have waited a little bit more to, uh, until I recorded this video because I don't have too much knowledge of it but I wanted to kind of uh, tie it into the whole NHL 21 gameplay so yeah but I think I'm gonna wrap this up here guys violence is wrong in any context okay especially in the world of sports where I think it's really misguided I think it's the wrong place for you to practice violence whether you're a player or a supporter or a coach referee or whatever you know so it's all good guys I think I'm gonna just leave it at this one here let me know your opinions in the comments below if you guys happen to like hockey you know and what you think about fighting not just in ice hockey but in any sport in general you know give me your opinions about it and if you happen to like this video go ahead and give it a like or a dislike if you disagree you think there should be fighting I don't really care it's gonna help the video grow anyway and if you think I deserve it please subscribe and also go ahead and hit the notification button to know exactly what time I upload because I do release videos every single day usually multiple videos a day so it's all good and I think that's it for today guys I'm gonna wrap this up and already get into the next one okay so yeah that's it <laughs> i hope you guys stick around because the next one will also be hockey related it's going to be a player profile similar to the wayne gretzky one so stick around for that and until then this is chazzy signing out for now and as always i will see you guys in the next video roll the outro screen